Jason, I'm looking forward to Wednesday night, 8 o'clock, two-hour episode from Biglerville, Pennsylvania, and it's Ghost Nation uh, second season premiere. Good morning, Jason. How you doing? Hey, man. It's well, yeah, it was great. I, you were at the Polo Center here in York. I had a chance to meet you and uh, introduced you that night, and I'm always, I'm always fascinated by this stuff. But, uh, hey, the Ghost Nation has really been a super hit. you got the season two premiere coming up, and I know Steve Gonsalves and uh, Dave Tango are with you on this one, right? That's correct. They're still with us hanging out and uh, is still investigating. And honestly, the first investigation is a two-hour season uh, premiere this Wednesday. It starts at 8 and goes till 10. But, um, and we're only about 30, 35 miles from you. We're out in Biglerville, Pennsylvania, yep. investigating. And, I mean, so I, much I, stuff happened out there that we had to, we had to make it two hours. I mean, it became, we had cadaver dogs. We had police. We had crime scene. It was insane. It was amazing, and I've, I've seen the premiere, by the way, a little sneak preview. Uh, you're about eight miles north of Gettysburg, and I know you've been to Gettysburg before and around that area. And uh, You guys, I, I tell you, this is a great series. Uh, it's going to be a two-hour special, and it's in Biglerville for this opener, so I can't think of a better place to go, but you had some distraught homeowners there who had just recently got married, and I'm not going to give away the story for this, but, but it is uh, you find some stuff on that property <laughs> that I would dare say uh, will will make people's hair stand on the back of their head, and also has kind of a historical value. Also, if you know anything about the history of Central Pennsylvania, right? Well, and it really does. Um, I mean, it's it's mind blowing because we expect you to go out there, and, and these places we go out, we're usually there for about a week straight uh, with uh, checking out the property because an investigation can't it can't be done in one night. So we're there for about a week, week and a half sometimes, uh, and so forth. But this one, honestly, we were there for over two weeks just because of the, the craziness that was going on. And Glenda and Steve, phenomenal people. Um, and it was just great getting out there, work, you know, working alongside them, finding out what was going on, and being able to truly figure out what was happening and solve their problem. And I think that's the most important thing. That's why we, we really enjoyed doing this Ghost Nation was because we, it's 100% about keeping it real and just doing, doing it the way we truly do it. We go out, we research, we we're trying to put a puzzle together, and uh, right. we're allowing the viewers to actually watch that happen. And uh, so it's just really enjoyable. And you look at this whole thing, like you, like you had Dave out of the local library researching you know, the property, and you had a guy come in who's looking at uh, various kinds of uh, tunnels and things like that. And I'm going to, again, let that remain unsaid for now because there's a historical part to this. But, you know, whatever got you into this, really, Jason? What, I mean, you guys go out and you do a, an exhaustive kind of thing here. You sent the family out. Uh, you got to control the house and everything. But, I mean, are, were you a skeptic coming in this? Are you still a skeptic? How do you look at things on, on this kind of uh, thing on, on Ghost Nation? Well, I've always looked at it like I'm a believer, but I'm a skeptic. So I guess we call my call me a boleptic, I guess. But um, <laughs> because I go in believing <laughs> I believe over 80% of all claims can be disproved. So we're going right. in looking for the real scientific explanation on what's going on and uh, not going in believing that we're going to catch a ghost, pl planning that we're not, that we're going to be able to figure it out for the homeowners. And I think you always need to be skeptical going in because, honestly, if, if you're 100% of a believer, then you're just – anything that happens you're going to associate as being the paranormal. Para just meaning beyond. It's the Greek word for beyond, so beyond the normal of what we're used to. So we're going in open minds, figuring we're going to be able to figure out what's happening. And a lot of times it's leaving us scratching our heads, but we're still able to get a lot of answers for these homeowners. you got an old friend helping you out. Paranormal investigator Sherry DeBenedetti uh, is going to be joining the investigations uh, as well. Tell us about that. Well, Sherry's great. She's been with us for, for years. She was with me on my, on my past show, Ghost Hunters. Um, and it was nice just to bring her back. She's great at going through evidence and, and really getting in there and investigating. And who knows, you know, we're, this season you might see some other people from our past show up in some episodes, which uh, I think people will really, uh, really enjoy. But, I mean, we've got some great locations coming up. We've got, like I said, Biglerville. We're out in, at one point. We're in Warwick, New York, uh, uh, investigating this big old prison that we were called into by an oh international soccer star. I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah. So I got Louisburg, North Carolina, Waynesville, Ohio, Blair, South Carolina. And uh, you can go to visit the TravelChannel.com slash Ghost Nation for show extras, behind-the-scenes exclusive videos, photo galleries featuring locations from the show. But you've also got a brand-new digital series, Up Close and Paranormal. Tell us about that. Well, and that's actually behind the scenes of these investigations. You're able to see us sometimes letting loose, whether it's jumping in a, in a bunch of uh, go-karts and, and <laughs> trying to take each other out on the tracks or uh, – 
going down these, you know, mile and a half zip lines. Um, it's just, it's a little, it's behind the scenes of what, what's going on when we're not really in the thick of the investigation and trying to find, you know, get some research on it. We're able to get out, kind of clear our heads, have some fun because we've been together. SD has been with me for as friends oh, yeah. for over 30, over 30 years. And which really makes, I think I just dated myself with that one. But um, well, so we've known each other for so long. So we're a family, and Dave, Dave's like a little brother to us both. Well, and you can follow a travel channel at Ghost Nation and hashtag Ghost Nation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for additional content and updates. Jason, I'm looking forward to Wednesday night, 8 o'clock, two-hour episode from Biglerville, Pennsylvania, and it's Ghost Nation uh, second season premiere. You do not want to miss it. I've seen it already, and it's simply called The Witching Tree, and I'll let it go at that. Jason, always good talking to you, my friend. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, and good luck with the new season, all right? Thank you, Gary. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks so much, man. Take care. Jason Hawes. Uh, yeah, check it out. Ghost Nation. Uh, Jason Hall, Steve Consalvas, and Dave Tango, and it's from Biglerville this coming Wednesday night, 8 o'clock on the Travel Channel. For me, it's Channel 67. I don't know what it is for you, but you'll find it. 8-